Hi, hello everyone. Myself Gokula Varshini and I'm working as an assistant professor in the Department of Food Technology in SNS College of Technology. So I'm handling the subject unit operations and food processing too and uh, today we are going to see about the topic drying. Okay. So first of all, what is drying? So drying is nothing but the application of heat under the controlled condition to remove the water present in the food by the evaporation to yield solid products. For example, you can take black resins which is a dried product. So what are the purposes of drying? So first reducing the water activity to control uh, the uh, degradation process and also to check over the chemical and microbiological changes that is uh, during deterioration and reduction in weight, size and volume of the food materials. So the bulk transportation becomes easier and cheaper. And next is the packaging requirements are simple and cheap and also it will facilitate further processing so for example you can take wheat which will be processed as a flour okay then uh, also the other uh, example for drying is dried fish so the taste will vary before and after drying uh, according to the product and next is the mechanism of drying in the mechanism of drying when the hot air is blown over a wet food, heat is transferred to the surface and latent heat of vaporization causes the water to evaporate. So, water vapor diffuses through a boundary of film of air and is carried away by the moving air. This creates a region of lower water vapor pressure gradient and it is established from, established from the moist interior of the food to the dry air. And the gradient provides the driving force for water removal uh, from the food. And so the mechanism of water removal takes place by liquid movement by the capillary force and uh, further it will diffuse the liquid uh, which is caused by the concentration gradient and diffusion of liquids which are absorbed in a layer of the surface of solid components of the food and next water vapor diffuses in the air space within the food caused by the vapor pressure gradients. So this is the mechanism of the drying process and here is the pictorial representation how the drying takes place from the interior of the food molecules to the surface and next phases of drying so in the phases of drying the first phase will be the uh, plane of evaporation moves inside the food and the water diffuses to the dry solids of the drying air and it ends when the plane of evaporation reaches to the center of the food and the and the partial pressure of the water uh, falls below the uh, saturated water vapor pressure and in the second falling rate period the partial pressure of the water is below the saturated vapor pressure and the drying is by desorption and the third falling rate period is the longest period during the drying of food products and the equilibrium moisture content occurs when dry spot develops at the surface soleless area exposed to the dry air and evaporation decreases. So here see in the diagram, this diagram is the um, drying curve and in this A to B is the warming up time and B to C is the constant rate spraying period and C to D is the first falling rate drying period and this is the longest period and D to E is the second falling rate drying period. So drying rate can be calculated by the formula DW by DT. So let us see what are the factors affecting the drying rate. First the external factor. The external factors are dry bulb temperature, relative humidity, air velocity, surface heat, coefficient and uh, on considering the external factors, uh, the factors which are considered are surface to volume ratio, surface temperature, rate of moisture loss and composition that is moisture, fat etc. And uh, now let us see in what are the fields the drying process is incorporated. First dairy products uh, like milk, milk powder, whey, creamers etc. Then next coffee, coffee surrogates tea flavors powdered drinks and next is the processed cereal based foods potatoes starch derivatives sugar beet pulp fruits vegetables and spices next we have uh, we can use drying in the water removal from the wet germinated grain and it is 
applied in the production of malt uh, mainly in the beer industries uh, uh, the process which is incorporated is called milling and for the malting process the drying step is essential and it is required to create the desired color and flavor so drying is very 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 important in the field of food technology so in the next session we can see about the different types of dryers and what are the uh, dryers which can be used for which type of food okay thank you